Welcome to Your Source TV from the nation's capital. I'm Tamara Stuchlack, and in this segment, we're talking about being a volunteer and using your creativity. With us is Galena Hamlet. She is a financial planner. She volunteers and she works in the community to help small businesses thrive. Uh, she's involved in many charity events that uh, she wants to share as examples to encourage all of us to uh, do more volunteering. So Galena, tell us about your passion for uh, combining your work world mm -hmm. with your volunteer world. I'm a financial planner and I also involved in a community. I involved in community, in especially Fairfax community, because I live there. I live there already for 15 mi uh, years. In Northern Virginia. In Northern Virginia, of course. And I love this area. I just love this area and a lot of opportunities here uh, for volunteering and for the creativity. So uh, all my <laughs> hobbies, all my interests, of course, uh, I would like to share with others and also encourage in others you know, to be involved in volunteering as well. Because we're so blessed, you know, to live in this community. Uh, let's say, um, Women's Center. It's uh, in Fairfax County in Vienna uh, City. And uh, it's really easy to access, you know. Uh, and basically, what I did uh, as financial advisor, I helped uh, the woman who basically uh, be, been abused before and uh, going through recovery, all of that. and. Uh, help them to be financially independent. So you're starting at your skill set and, and offering and you're finding that in many of these areas that are charitable right. that uh, it's very easy to to use your what you're passionate Profession, about professional and skills, easy to yeah. go in and, and, and help. All right, so professional skills. So even your neighbors, let's say your neighbors needs uh, you know some financial planning. So I never say no. So if I see that uh, the person, uh, uh, person asks me about or neighbor asks me about, you know, I always uh, say, okay, I can help you. I can hel help you to do a business plan. I can help you uh, to do a financial plan for your retirement or for the college plan. I always there. And to be always there, you have to be involved in the community, in a charity work or as a volunteer work that you can be reachable and accessible, that people knew you who you are and uh, where you live. <laughs> so at this point, uh, I would love, you know, the volunteering. And so you uh, come from Siberia. Yes. And that was a strong foundation for your just being a person that volunteers. Tell us about that. In Siberia, we live in a community. We always li live in a community and uh, we, know, uh, we knew each other. Um, it was a given. It was a given, you know, because we all we all we, uh, we all Christians. We all Christians. We help to each other. So it wasn't kind of like unnatural for me to kind of like to move to United States and uh, also help, you know, your neighbors and your family. Do you see lots of volunteering ar around you, and you're encouraged by that, and you also just want others to know that it's important to be reminded to volunteer. It's important because uh, you live in community and you build your community. So basically, you know, the every uh, neighbors around you should be successful. This is how the success of the community is also showing up. Beautiful, beautiful. And you have uh, incorporated your hobbies. Tell us about s how you've incorporated some of your hobbies into your volunteering. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of hobbies. <laughs> uh, I took some classes in Torpedo Factory about photography classes, and uh, I was kind of like fascinated about that. I just, you know, just took a camera and uh, any weekend just go around DC and took some photos, a beautiful city and museums. And after that, you know, um, I print it, I frame it, and uh, donate it as an uh, auction item. How fantastic. And so there's, there's other examples of that. I know you're involved with uh, uh, the Women's Suffragette Memorial that is... Women's Suffragette Memorial also uh, the same thing. So we do some hats. Yeah, we do some hats, <laughs> fancy hats. And also this uh, fancy For fundraising. Items. For fundraising. For fundraising. Also kind of like make like a, a donation. 
uh, also uh, with uh, also interesting in Tai Chi. Tai Chi is a martial art, and uh, I, um, we did a self-defense uh, workshop for the woman, actually for the executive woman, for executive professionals. Uh, we did self-defense for executive professionals. Uh, you know how to protect yourself in a work environment. And so you're quite adept at Tai Chi and, and are, are a champion. And right. so that was another area of really this, uh, this thinking, I think, that you want to share with us, which is, <laughs> is you know, when uh, you have an interest or you're good at something, share it in some way with your neighbors or nonprofits. There's right. always a way uh, if you're moving yourself forward. Right, so uh, it was US China Open and uh, I did a performance, 24, 24 uh, Tai Chi forums in Young Style, so it was first place. And we did a group performance with Sun and Moon Tai Chi One, so it also was first place. Uh, after that we did uh, in Anandel, it was uh, US Open uh, China, so and basically also first place. So what I do, yeah, I'm the first. Very good. So what are some other uh, ways that you've put together your interest with your volunteering and that your creativity? So my creativity, of course, you know cooking. I love chocolate. I mean, everybody loves chocolate, right? <laughs> you can't, you know, just exist. So basically, um, I start, you know, uh, to do uh, energy bars. So we love chocolate, right? So, and of course, you know, combined with some uh, healthy ingredients is gonna be energy bars. And you know, that helps, you know, uh, when you do exercise, uh, any sport oh, activities, course, yes. you know, it also helps. And so how do you use them in a, in a charity fashion? In a charity fashion, so we basically are doing some cooking classes. We do some cooking classes and everybody can involve, you know, in this cooking, participate in these cooking classes in a tower club. So uh, one is going to be in January. And you're also involved in a charity classic for golf. Charity classic for golf. Uh, it's also, uh, we do some golfing. It's uh, in Chantilly or in River Creek. And we raise some money for some charities. So what's most important that you think is, is you know, our viewers would need to think a little bit differently than maybe they have in terms of, well, I don't have enough time to do this, or, you know, I haven't been asked. Do you just go forward and sh how do you go about it? How do you start? Go from your heart. Go from your heart. I mean, decide what is important to you. If it's important, this charity is important to you, go help. It's uh, so important for your community because uh, your community is going to gonna be succeed if uh, you're going to be help each other. And how does it make you feel to volunteer and use your creativity? Uh, basically, you know, it's, uh, I'm thinking, you know, more ways to do this, you know, and, uh, okay, and I always think about, okay, what I ha can, you know, uh, what I can do, what I can help, what is going to be useful for people, right? And um, one of my thoughts was uh, to start, you know, to help, you know, small business owners to do, uh, especially business owners who start ups, to do a business plan. Of course, marketing, of course, you know, fundraising, of course, you know, uh, merchant acquisitions. I can help because, you know, small businesses, you know, in this area is so important to us because uh, they kind of like uh, serve a little um, community who is basically in needs. So as we're coming to a close, what, mm -hmm. what do you want to share that um, is maybe perhaps what people uh, say to you when they're thanking you? and how this really encourages you to do more and in fact come and share this on your source tv uh i never ask you know kind of like for thank you note <laughs> i just but what do, do people say to you i mean usually yes yeah, they say thank you but i never expect it you know i just do it you know because i like it to do this i love to do this 
And I, I like to see, you know, when people is kind of like, you know, their eyes, you know, uh, always uh, have, you know, this courage. And, uh, you know, if it's going to be say, tell me thank you. So, of course. What's the best reason you would give people to volunteer more than what they're already doing? Uh, again, it's think um, it's your community. It's your community. You built your community. Uh, again, it's your neighbors and uh, this community where you live, and you would like, you know, to be uh, in a successful place. Wonderful. Well, we thank you. Uh, our our Northern Virginia area is uh, benefiting from your goodwill, and uh, you're encouraging all of us to do more. Uh, I know I've put some new ideas in, in my head as well. So. <laughs> Thank you for joining Thank us on, on this segment, and stay tuned for the next segment of Your Source TV from the nation's capital. And I'm Tamara Stutchlang. <laughs>